So we're headed here, Haley's first race at Daytona. It's pretty exciting, you know? This is like a lot, I've been, we've been coming here since she was 13. Uh, we always, we were talking about that last night. We're like, it's pretty cool to think like you're finally racing this track. Uh, so, you gotta think today is the day. She was fast in practice, we made a switch this year to over to the Ford team with DTR. And cars have been good, like the team's good, everyone's like, Haley's hyped up, like, it's exactly what we've kind of been looking for. So I think she's got the recipe right now to do well. And um, I'm excited. You know, if she had goal, if she can finish in the top 10 today, it's a loose goal, good goal of the top five. And if she pulls a win off, we'll be blown the F away. <laughs> that would help a lot. But anyway, she thinks she can win. That's good, because it's been a while since she's thought she could win a race. Um, she finished practice, top of the board. Like, it's been a while since that happened. So uh, I think everyone's excited and they're putting a lot of effort behind her. So I think the cars are out on um, pit road um, getting ready for qualifying. So we'll roll out there. Gavin, 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 it only took you three days to get here. Woo <laughs> New hater blockers, you know. The more fans I get, the more haters they are. <laughs> so we gotta start blocking them out. Ah. So we survived a tornado hurricane and uh, only watched a couple semis flip over, a few trees fall on the freeway. Uh, but Gavin finally made it about four days later to Daytona. It took you a long time to get here, but you're late. You're not going to get paid for those days, so that's kind of sad. But other than that, it's going pretty good. <laughs> we, uh, we're fasting today in practice. First practice, we were P1. Second practice, we practiced pit stops. Uh, so we got qualifying here next. We're kind of in a crappy group for qualifying. Qualifying's a little weird in the ARCA series. You go out, they random draw groups, and see so if you get stuck with slow guys in a group, uh, you're kind of screwed. So we got kind of screwed in qualifying. So I have one other fast guy with me. Uh, so we're going to try a little, little tactic thing, just go up front. Uh, but I think our goal is pretty much 8 to 15 in qualifying, <laughs> just like, just because of how odd our group is. I thought I was pretty lost, but then we went, we were first in practice, so I'm like, oh shoot, like I got it. <laughs> and so once I figured it out, it took me a few laps, but I got with a good drafting group, some fast guys, and kind of got to feel out the air, kind of feel where I was sucking up, feel where I couldn't get runs, where I could get runs. So I think I have a good base of it now, so we'll see where that takes us in the race. We're going to my car. Dude, dude, I'm excited. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped right now. Goals to qualify eight, the top ten, because we're in a pretty bad group. We have one other fast guy in our group. That's it. So we're making do with what we have. We gotta go find my car. Over here. qualifying session she's only got one other fast car two cars are faster than one four are faster than two six are faster than four so just kind of educate you a little bit on super speedway racing which we're still learning we're super green to this you're nervous I'm not nervous you're nervous <laughs> Is that the new uh, shoes the racing shoes that dude's pretty sweet it reminds me of Bill Murray and he runs the new balances, dude. He saves them for the race. <laughs> he got some special, special grip on the bottom, heat shield.
with the right side. Did he hit you? Yeah. Did you chop him? Because Riley was coming down to me, and the guys were coming down to Riley. Riley was coming down to Riley. And the guy came down to me, so I just I kept wiggling my way up there. I stayed behind Riley. And the guy tried to open my left ear. 69. See the nose? It hit my left ear, and he tried to. Shot by himself. You're gonna have to watch that. She just got done qualifying. Um, the six, I'm not kidding when I say this, like I'm dead, dead serious. The number 69 car tried hooking me. <laughs> they can even see it. Like what are the odds? Like, it's always something. They tried 69, the 69 car tried hooking me into the wall, but um, he tried splitting me and Riley into the draft and stuff, but we let we let Okay. So the last series we raced in, it was a lot of short tracks, you didn't draft at all. Um, and if you did, it was at like Iowa and some of the New Hampshire's, but you still didn't draft much there at Gateway. Um, two and a half miles, you're drafting a lot, so it's just kind of getting used to everything. Um, we were doing a little bit about drafting and qualifying, but we kept getting split up. It just, it just didn't work in our favor, but we ended up qualifying seventh, which our goal was eight to 15th with the group we were given, so beat the goal and almost got hooked into it. <laughs> How are you? You want to take a picture? Picture, yeah. my buddy wants a picture of
even get tired at all. No. Uh, it was so interesting. Yeah, cruising. I know, they're like 10 to go, and I'm like, this is just... It's cruising. And I'm like getting around some people yeah. just... A trophy. Hey, a trophy? The best part of this weekend was that I got free paper towels. I may have not got a trophy, but that doesn't matter. We got free paper towels. Something that we can actually use. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I'm not giving that away very much. Yeah. Not I'm making like, that more stressful for me. I was like, I will let him win. Like, just tell him to take the bottom. I promise. Okay, good. Yeah, so we're, we're running second right now. Yeah, Sprint told me, and I was like, all right. I was like, Wow, that was crazy. I just, I still can't believe that everything during the off season, everything we put and work to, that we were working for, uh, that whole couple months off, it's like finally over now. We had, it was all worth that two hours of racing. And so I think after we had a lot of takeaways, a lot of good things that happened, a lot of, we got a good finish. Second, uh, we were right behind the guy uh, that won it. And uh, the last caution came down 10 laps ago. And I remember, I was like, okay, I'm in third right now. Like before the caution, I was like, just let it go green. Let it go green, please. Like, let me finish third. And all of a sudden the caution came out and I was like, no way. I know Michael, the leader, he was going to take the outside because his teammate was in fourth and they were going to kind of like go. And I was like, I got on the radio and I was like, please, like, please tell Michael to take the bottom. Like, I promise I'll let him win. Like, I'll push him, I'll push him. Like, whatever he wants me to do, just let me get second and I will help him win. And so that ended up happening. We were all good. Thank God. Uh, good finish. Didn't wreck anything at Daytona. That car's finished second twice here in a row. So it's a good car, good finish. Makes it a lot easier racing when you have a good, nice car, good crew, everyone, everyone's working together. Just the positivity and level is there. And so uh, we're on to the next one. Phoenix, uh, we got Toter sponsoring the car there, uh, titling the car. So it, Phoenix is one of my favorite tracks. We're gonna have fun there. Uh, be sure you guys subscribe to the Digging 38 YouTube channel. Uh, be ready for the next video to drop because it's gonna be hard to top this one.